Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me in this short video. If you're watching this video, it means that you have made a purchase through uh, Pixel Pro Displays website. You've ordered a custom basic sequence. You've ordered a full custom sequence. Uh, maybe you've had Pixel Pro Displays uh, set up your uh, set up our PPD groups into your layout, and we're making edits or adjusting or updating or fixing your layout in some manner. And uh, maybe we've mapped some songs over uh, for you. You've uh, had us do that as a service. And in order for you to be able to use the uh, completed sequences, I wanted to make this video to show you exactly the steps that you should take in order to map these sequences into your home layout. So let's go ahead and get started. You've probably found this video because we've included it in a link inside one of our emails saying we've completed some work for you. And if you have watched, if you're watching this video, it means that you should also have uh, uh, completed work, uh, completed package sequences, or uh, other items that need downloaded. So if you read the email, you'll uh, go ahead and click on the link to the completed package sequence for whatever it is that we've completed for you. You'll go ahead and click that link and here it is the link has opened up and all you need to do is go click on the download link and once you click on the download link you'll see here that it has downloaded onto your computer into your file structure um, we can go ahead and close the uh, close out the email so before we go any further I want to make sure that um, I, I warn you ahead of time please close exit lights please close out of every screen of X lights that you have you don't want X lights to be open whenever you do the following process that's very important so now that you've done the download let's go in and open up our downloads and we will go find a copy of the sequence that you have downloaded the package sequence and we will physically hit the copy button next what we'll do is we'll go into our show folder Whoop, and it just opened up over there. Uh, let's go ahead and do something else. If you don't have one of these file folders, then you want to create one. It's a very easy way to keep things organized. Inside your show folder, you want to place a folder called import. Doing so helps you, gives you a definite place to go in and place any package sequences that you've downloaded from uh, perhaps uh, us or perhaps any other uh, vendors that are out there or maybe even the Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click and click the paste button and now there is a copy of the downloaded sequence. Um, if you're on a Mac you may want to shut off, uh, you definitely want to shut off the uh, auto, down, uh, auto unzip function that uh, Mac has because it's easier to import your sequences into your layout whenever they are zipped up. Okay, so just just as a just as a forewarning, if you're on a Mac, turn that function off. You definitely want it to stay or make it available as a zip file. Now, I just said to uh, not unzip it, but we're actually going to unzip this because we've done we're doing some layout work for you. And with that being said, we need you to extract from the sequence. We need you to oh, it popped up over here. I'm just going to use the default settings to do the extraction. And once that's complete, uh, you're going to go into the file structure and you're going to look for your RGB effects file. You're going to go ahead and copy this. You're going to return back into your show folder directory. And you can see here, we have an RGB effects file that was the original one that you sent us when we began the project. What we're gonna do is we're going, you're going to overwrite your original file and utilize the updated file. Now, you, if you have two file folders open, you can click and drag this over, or you can just do the copy and paste. But in any event, you definitely want to replace the destination file. Once you do that, you'll have all of the changes, all of the updates, and all the upgrades that we added in to your layout in order for you to take advantage of the sequencing that has been done into your sequence. Uh, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up X-Lights. Let's close out some of these folders. All right, and here we are. Your show folder is opened up. If you look at your layout, this may not be your layout, but this would be uh, the end user's layout. And there, there may be a number of additions that are added into your layout over here. Maybe some submodels have been created. Some submodels have been uh, adjusted and edited to work better. Uh, in any event, your layout has been updated. Next, what we want to do is we want to get the sequence imported. So what you'll have to do now is you'll have to create a new sequence. Um, typically it's a musical sequence and now you'll want to navigate to your show folder 
and you'll click on I, I put the audio into the audio folder and select the MP3 that uh, goes with the piece of uh, sequencing that you have downloaded uh, the package sequence for. Uh, use 20 frames per second. You can use 40 frames if you want. Um, it's, it's up to you. Uh, and then go ahead and do a quick start. And now you're inside your brand new layout. Now, um, one thing that you'll note is that we have probably created a PPD master or an imported master uh, that uh, will align your groups to match up with uh, within your layout to match with what our sequence uh, is set up to do for you. We'll go ahead, now that we have this, we'll go ahead and save the sequence and we'll leave it the name of the uh, MP3. And after we've saved the sequence, we don't change anything in the master view. We just leave the master view alone for now. We go to import effects and we navigate to the import screen and we go to the zip file. And once we're in the zip file, and now you see that we popped up the, uh, the mapping screen. Because you're mapping the sequence from the same layout folder as the zip file, what we're going to do is we're going to click the auto map button. That should map absolutely everything over for you because we're mapping from the initial layout that uh, that was packaged up. We'll go ahead and click the OK button. All of your effects will be brought in. All of the work that you had us do will be brought in. And the last thing you'll want to do is open up your display elements. And on this display elements, you'll want to click on the PPD master and click Make a Master. If you get a warning that says one or more models had effects on them so they were not removed, click the OK button and now you should be good to go. If you hit the Save button, all of this should be now saved in the sequence and you should be free to go ahead and render the sequence and play it on your layout as it was in the preview video we sent you. If you've purchased a sequence mapping, you may not need to copy over the RGB effects file. You simply need to download the zip file, place it into your import folder in your show directory, create the new sequence, and then use the auto map function I just used to map over your effects from the zip folder into the new sequence that uh, you're going to create from that zip file. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at pixelprodisplays.com or respond to your email with the package sequence in it for further instructions. Thank you very much for watching the video. We hope you enjoy your sequence. We hope you enjoy the work that we've done for you here from Pixel Pro Displays. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.